Garcia Romo, the NCAA champ, long year, but you, looks like you still got it. How'd that feel? NCAA runner out. <laughs> hey, I'm talking indoors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that felt amazing. I mean, coming back to Hayward Field is always magical, no? Like, especially my first World Champs. And yeah, I've been just enjoying the moment. Uh, today was a great race. Uh, I felt really good, especially in the last 400 meters. So I'm just hoping for another race like that tomorrow and then hoping, hoping to make a final on Tuesday. It's like running a personal best in the first round. Well, yeah, I mean, personal best, but I still, I think I have more in the tank, you know? Yeah. But yeah, I mean, at least I have a personal best in the championship, so that's good. And, and yeah, I mean, I'm very excited to just race against Jakob and all these guys, you know, and trying to prove myself as one of the best in the world. Do you think being in the NCAA the last few years has prepared you to race in the international level? Definitely. I mean, when you race against the best in college every single weekend, you know, like you get used to this type of races, you get used to warming up for big, big competition. And, and yeah, this this one more. So, I mean, it's, it's the world champ, but, you know, like, uh, I feel like I did my race, and that's what I try to do every single time. So, yeah, uh, it's the world chance, but I still like. I think I'm very well prepared for it. Yeah. And you signed with OAC, so yeah. uh, was that? A, got yeah. The bracelet there. I got the bracelet. Um, were you like always going to be staying in the America in America, or did you consider going back to Spain for your pro career? Of course, yeah, I consider coming back to Spain, but I think OAC has the best training group in the world right now. I mean, Oli is probably top three miners in the world right now, and. You know, it's a pleasure to just train with him and Jared and all the other guys. And I mean, I think Nathan is one of the best coaches in the world as well. So why not join, you know, one of the best groups and try to be one of the best in the world. Yeah. Who's, who's been guiding you the last few weeks? Well, I've been coaching, I've been training with uh, Ryan Menhoy, right? Because uh, there's no point on changing in the middle of the season. But I'm very excited to just start with Nathan the next fall and just seeing what I can do uh, under, under his... Uh, his mentoring. You know. Have you trained at altitude before? No, I never. Well, I've been in Flasa, but you know, like kind of like the same mm -hmm. thing that I recall it's all this uh, in summer. But yeah, I haven't, I haven't trained altitude yet. So you're excited about that, or worried, or a little bit of both? No, I'm, I'm excited for it actually because I think like that's the way you reach the next level. And and yeah, I mean, I, I think I am gonna improve a lot in the next years, and I'm just hoping to show it here and in, in the worst states in the next years. Is home in Spain at a little bit of altitude? You're like a few thousand feet up? Kind of, yeah, it's like 3,000 feet. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, you're, you're from there. I know, so I family you right next to you, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> definitely you feel it when you come from sea level, but, but yeah, I mean, coming to Boulder is gonna be definitely a challenge at first, you know, but I'm, I think I'm gonna get used to it pretty quick, and I think I'm gonna get like a lot of improvements, right? Thanks a lot. Thank nice you. job today. Thank, Thank you. you.